A style of office, honorific or manner, form of address, is an official or legally recognized title. A style, by tradition or law, precedes a reference to a person who holds a post or political office, and is sometimes used to refer to the office itself. An honorific can also be awarded to an individual in a personal capacity. Such styles are particularly associated with monarchies, where they may be used by a wife of an office holder or of a prince of the blood, for the duration of their marriage. They are also almost universally used for presidents in republics and in many countries for members of legislative bodies, higher-ranking judges and senior constitutional office holders. Leading religious figures also have styles. Examples <laughs> 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 Traditional forms of address at German-speaking universities His, Her Magnificence, Rector President of a university His, Her Notability Spectabilitat. Professors have the privilege to use the Latin spectabilis Dean of a faculty Traditional forms of address at Dutch-speaking universities His, Her Great Honor Edelgrotakbare Heer, Vru Rector Magnificus President of a university Highly learned sir, madam, hugeleard here, vru, professor or dean of a faculty. Well, noble, very learned sir, madam, well adult sirgeleard here, vru, a doctor. Well, noble, learned sir, madam, de well adultgeleard here, vru, a doctorandus. Well, noble, strictly sir, madam, de well adultgestrang here, vru, a master in laws, meester in directen, or a university engineer, ingenier. Traditional forms of address at Italian speaking universities. Magnificent Rector, Magnifico Rettori, Rector, President, Chancellor of a University. Amplified Headmaster, Amplissimo Preside, Dean of a Faculty, now uncommon. Illustrious, Enlightened Professor, Curissimo Professor, a full professor. Topic: Government. Topic: Diplomats. His Most Reverend Excellency abbreviation His Most Rev. X, Oral Address Your Excellency the Apostolic Nuncio, because his rank is equal to that of an ambassador extraordinary and plenipotentiary, and he is simultaneously a higher prelate. His, Her Excellency abbreviation He, Oral Address Your Excellency most ambassadors, high commissioners and permanent representatives to international organizations, sometimes also the presidents of republics, governors general, governors of provinces and prime ministers. The Honorable Oral Address Mr. Madam Ambassador U.S. Ambassadors. Typically U.S. Ambassadors are addressed as Your Excellency by non-U.S. citizens outside the United States. Judiciaries <inaudible> 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 His, Her Honor Judge X, abbreviation HHJX, Oral Address Your Honor, Circuit Judges in England and Wales. The Honorable Mr. Per Mega Second. Justice X, abbreviation XJ, Referential His Lordship, Her Ladyship, Oral Address My Lord, Lady or Your Lordship, Your Ladyship, Judges of the High Court of Justice of England and Wales. The Right Honorable Lord, Lady Justice X, abbreviation XLJ, Judge of the Court of Appeal of England and Wales. The Lord, Lady, Baroness X, abbreviated to Lord, Lady, Baroness X, referred to as His Lordship, Her Ladyship, addressed orally as My Lord, My Lady, judges in the High Court of Justiciary and the Court of Session in Scotland, and the Supreme Court of the United Kingdom. The Honourable, abbreviation The Hun, oral address Your Honour, judges and justices in the United States. Oral address Your Excellency, judges of the International Court of Justice. Oral address your worship, justices of the peace magistrates in the United Kingdom, usually by solicitors. Oral address your worship, all courts in Australia obsolete. Oral address your honour, all courts in Australia. Topic monarchies Sire Oral address first your majesty and then sire, for a queen first your majesty and then ma'am reigning kings in the United Kingdom and in Belgium. It has also been used in France, Italy, Germany, Portugal, Sweden and Spain. His, Her Imperial Majesty, abbreviation HIM, Oral Address Your Imperial Majesty Emperors and Empresses. Formerly, for example, HIM the Shah of Iran. 
In modern times, the Emperor of Japan more often uses the simpler style of Majesty. His, Her Imperial and Royal Majesty abbreviation HI and RM, Oral Address Your Imperial and Royal Majesty until 1918, the rulers of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, who were emperors, empresses of Austria while also kings, queens of Hungary, and the German emperors, empresses, who were simultaneously kings, queens of Prussia. His, Her Apostolic Majesty abbreviation HAM, Oral Address Your Apostolic Majesty the King of Hungary, usually styled Imperial Majesty or Imperial and Royal Majesty as Emperor of Austria and King of Hungary, also sometimes Imperial and Royal Apostolic Majesty. His, Her Britannic Majesty, the British Monarch not usual, used as a formal and official term in diplomacy, the law of nations, and international relations, e.g. in British passports. His, Her Most Gracious Majesty, an elaborate version of His, Her Majesty in the United Kingdom, only used in the most formal of occasions. His, Her Most Excellent Majesty, another elaborate version of His, Her Majesty in the United Kingdom, mainly used in Acts of Parliament. His, Her Catholic Majesty abbreviation HCM, Oral Address Your Catholic Majesty the King of Spain not usual. His, Her Most Christian Majesty, the King of France until 1790 and from 1815 to 1830. His, Her Faithful Majesty abbreviation HFM, Oral Address Your Faithful Majesty the King of Portugal until deposed in 1910. His, Her Majesty abbreviation HM, Oral Address Your Majesty Kings, Queens and some Sultans. For example, HM Queen Elizabeth II, HM King Goodwills Walithini or HM King Willem Alexander. His, Her Imperial Highness abbreviation HIH, Oral Address Your Imperial Highness Members of an Imperial House currently used by the Imperial House of Japan. His, Her Imperial and Royal Highness abbreviation HI and RH, Oral Address Your Imperial and Royal Highness formerly, Archdukes of the House of Habsburg, the German Crown Prince, Princess and post-monarchy members of the deposed Brazilian Imperial family, also some women entitled to Imperial style by birth and to Royal style by marriage e.g., Grand Duchess Marie Alexandrovna of Russia, Duchess of Edinburgh. His, Her Royal Highness abbreviation HRH, Oral Address Your Royal Highness Some monarchs, members of a royal family other than monarchs, queen's consort and queen's dowager, grand dukes, duchesses who have reigned but not those grand dukes who were cadets of the former Russian imperial family, consorts of grand dukes, grand ducal heirs apparent and, in Luxembourg, all dynastic male line cadets, British princes, their dynastic wives including the prince's consort of Queen's Victoria and Elizabeth II, sons, daughters, patrilineal grandsons and granddaughters of Ibn Saud of the House of Saud. His, Her Grace oral address Your Grace is a style used for various high-ranking personages. It was the style used to address kings of England until King Henry VIII and the King or Queen of Scots up to the Act of Union of 1707, which united the Kingdom of Scotland and the Kingdom of England. Today, the style is used when referring to non-royal dukes and duchesses, and archbishops, in the United Kingdom. For example, His Grace the Duke of Devonshire in the United Kingdom, or His Grace the Archbishop of Canterbury, or Your Grace in spoken or written address. Royal Dukes, for example the Duke of York, are addressed with their higher royal style, Royal Highness. His, Her Grand Ducal Highness abbreviation HGDH, Oral Address Your Grand Ducal Highness cadets of some former ruling Grand Ducal dynasties Hessen by Rhine and Baden. His, Her Highness abbreviation HH, Oral Address, Your Highness some monarchs, i.e., emirs, some sultans, the Aga Khan, formerly reigning dukes, some maharajas and rajas and the members of their dynasties, cadets of most former grand ducal houses, male line grandchildren and remoter male line descendants of some kingly dynasties i.e., Denmark and formerly Brazil, Italy, Japan, UK, Yugoslavia, Belgium's House of Line, members of France's former foreign princely class, members of cadet branch branches of the House of Saud. His, Her Ducal Serene Highness abbreviation HDSH, Oral Address, Your Ducal Serene Highness members of the formerly reigning Ducal House of Saxe-Coburg and Gotha. His, Her Serene Highness abbreviation HSH, Oral Address Your Serene Highness German, Sane, IHRE Dirchlaut, Italian, SUA Alteza Serenissima, Russian, Vesa dot Sovereign of a Principality i.e., Liechtenstein, Monaco, members of formerly reigning princely families Lippi, Schomburg Lippi, Waldeck and Piermont and Schwarzburg, members of mediatized families headed by a first prince 
Members of several formerly noble, princely families of Austria, Germany, Bohemia, Hungary and Poland, and a few formerly noble families granted the princely title in Imperial Russia the style is more literally translated, his, her serenity. His, her illustrious highness abbreviation Hill, oral address your illustrious highness, German, Sein, IHRE or Laucht, Italian, SUA Alteza Illustrissima, Spanish, Su Illustrissima, Russian, mediatized counts and, sometimes, members of their families. His, her princely grace formerly style for members of a few noble families of monarchical Germany. The high-born counts in some Scandinavian and Benelux monarchies and, formerly, Germany and Austria. The high well-born Dutch barons, knights and untitled members of the lower nobility in German-speaking monarchies. His, Her Excellency abbreviation he, oral address Your Excellency Governors General, British colonial governors, state officials, and generals of Imperial Russia. Occasionally, Prime Ministers and Cabinet Ministers. For example, the Prime Minister of the Netherlands, in Denmark, a few high-ranked nobles e.g., Counts A.F. Daniskeld Samso, Counts of Rosenborg, Lensgriever, Knights of the Order of the Elephant. Don Spanish, Don, Italian, Dien, Portuguese, Dom do from Latin Dominus, roughly, Lord, is an honorific title used in Spain, Portugal, Italy, Ibero-America and the Philippines. The female equivalent is Doña Spanish, Doa, Donna, Italian, Dienene, and Dona Portuguese, Don, abbreviated, D, or simply, D. Although originally a title reserved for royalty, select nobles, and church hierarchs, it is now often used as a mark of esteem for a person of personal, social or official distinction, such as a community leader of long standing, a person of significant wealth, or a noble, but may also be used ironically. As a style, rather than a title or rank, it is used with, and not instead of, a person's name. In Portugal and Brazil, Dom pronounced do is used for certain hierarchs of the Roman Catholic Church and for laymen who belong to the royal and imperial families for example the House of Avas in Portugal and the House of Braganza in Portugal and Brazil. It was also accorded to members of families of the titled Portuguese nobility. Unless ennobling letters patent specifically authorized its use, Dom was not attributed to members of Portugal's untitled nobility, since hereditary titles in Portugal descended according to primogeniture. The right to the style of Dom was the only apparent distinction between cadets of titled families and members of untitled noble families. Most High, Mighty, and Illustrious Prince, for Royal Dukes, oral address Your Royal Highness. Son of Heaven, used by Chinese and some Japanese emperors. High King Great King King of Kings, used by especially Semitic, Persian and some Indian rulers. Taewang, Greatest of Kings, was used by the later rulers of the Korean Kingdom of Koguryo. Lord of the Isles, used by an heir apparent of the British monarchy. High Steward of Scotland, used by a heir apparent of the British monarchy. Custodian of the Two Holy Mosques abbreviation CTHM Arabic, Qadim al-Hacharman al-Shrifan Qadim al-Haramain as Sarifain, sometimes translated as Servant of the Two Noble Sanctuaries or Protector of the Two Holy Cities, is a royal style that has been used by many Islamic rulers including the Ayyubids, the Mamluk Sultans of Egypt, the Ottoman Sultans, and the modern Saudi kings. The title refers to the ruler taking the responsibility of guarding and maintaining the two holiest mosques in Islam, Al-Masjid Al-Haram the sacred mosque in Mecca and Al-Masjid and Nabawi the Prophet's mosque in Medina. In Saudi Arabia it's the official title of a king replacing his majesty. Amir al muminin Arabic, Amir al muminin usually translated commander of the faithful or leader of the faithful, is the Arabic style of some caliphs and other independent sovereign Muslim rulers that claim legitimacy from a community of Muslims. It has been claimed as the title of rulers in Muslim countries and empires and is still used for some Muslim leaders. The use of the title does not necessarily signify a claim to caliphate as it is usually taken to be, but described a certain form of activist leadership which may have been attached to a caliph but also could signify a level of authority beneath that. The Ottoman sultans, in particular, made scant use of it. Moreover, the term was used by men who made no claim to be caliphs. Currently used by the Caliph of Isis Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, the Ahmadiyya Muslim Caliph, Mirza Masroor Ahmad, the King of Morocco, the Sultan of Sokoto, and the supreme leaders of the Afghan Taliban. 
Kabiasi variously translated as His or Her Royal Majesty, His or Her Royal Highness or His or Her Highness, lit. The one whose words are beyond question used by the Obas of Yorubaland, other Aboriginal Yoruba high chiefs of royal background, and their counterparts in the tribe's diaspora communities. <laughs> <laughs> Styles and titles of deposed monarchs General tradition indicates that monarchs who have ceased to reign but not renounced their hereditary titles, retain the use of their style and title for the duration of their lifetimes, but both die with them. Hence Greece's deposed king is often still styled His Majesty King Constantine II, as a personal title, not as occupant of a constitutional office, since the abolition of the monarchy by the Hellenic Republic in 1974. Similarly, until his death, the last king of Italy, Umberto II, was widely referred to as King Umberto II and sometimes addressed as Your Majesty. In contrast, Simeon of Bulgaria who, subsequent to the loss of his throne in 1947, was elected to and held the premiership of his former realm as Simeon Sakshkobergotsky, and therefore is as often referred to by the latter name as by his former royal title and style. While this rule is generally observed, and indeed some exiled monarchs are allowed diplomatic passports by their former realm, other republics officially object to the use of such titles which are, nonetheless, generally accorded by extant monarchical regimes. In 1981, the then Greek president Konstantinos Karamanlis declined to attend the wedding of Charles, Prince of Wales when it was revealed that Greece's deposed monarch, a cousin of the prince, had been referred to as king in his invitation. The Hellenic Republic has challenged King Constantine's right to use his title and his passport was revoked in 1994 because he did not use a surname, as his passport at the time stated, Constantine, former king of the Hellenes. However, Constantine II now travels in and out of Greece on a Danish diplomatic passport as a descendant of Christian IX of Denmark, by the name Constantino de Gracia Spanish for Constantine of Greece. Topic. Republics His, Her Excellency abbreviation he, oral address Your Excellency Presidents of Republics Historically, this was first used to refer to George Washington during his tenure as Commander-in-Chief of the Army during the American War of Independence. Its use for Presidents of Republics was established as he was the first President of the First Modern Republic, in some countries also the Prime Minister, Ministers, Governors, Ambassadors and High Commissioners also use this style. The President of the United States is properly directly addressed as Mr. President and introduced as the President of the United States. However, his, her, Your Excellency may properly be used in written communications and is sometimes used in official documents. The custom in France is to call office holders acting within their official capacity M. Monsieur or me, Madam followed by the name of their offices. Thus, the President of the Republic is called M. le Président or M. le Président de la République if a male, and me if a female. Styles such as Excellency or similar are not used, except for talking about foreign dignitaries. Traditionally after Madam, the name of the office is not put into the feminine form, but this is becoming less common, hence Madame le Président is being replaced by Madame la Présidente. In Italy, members of the lower house Chamber of, Deputies of the Parliament of Italy are styled Honorable Italian, Onorvoli, abbreviation on. The correct form to address a member of the upper house Senate is Senator Italian, Senatori, abbreviation Sen, even though, for gravitas, they may also be addressed Honorable Senator. The incumbent president of Finland is addressed Hera, Ruva Tasavallan Presidenti Mr. Per Mega Second. President of the Republic, while a former president is addressed as just Hera, Ruva Presidenti. The style used for the President of Ireland is normally His Excellency, Her Excellency Irish, a Shoyles, a Soyles. Sometimes people may orally address the President as Your Excellency Irish, a Shoyles, H, or simply President Irish, a Uishtarain, Ux, A N, vocative case. During the Republic of the United Netherlands, the States General were collectively addressed as their high and mighty lords. Dutch, Hugmogend Heron. The Honourable, Presidents, Prime Ministers, Ministers, Governors, Members of Parliament, Senate and Congress in some countries, Australia, Bangladesh, Canada, India, Hong Kong, Singapore, Sri Lanka.
Topic: Medicine. Doctor, in the United Kingdom, university degrees supporting medical and dental licensure are all bachelor's degrees MB, MBBS, BDS, MBBS BAU, BMED, etc. These graduates are addressed as doctor by courtesy and convention. Mr., Miss, Mrs., surgeons in the UK revert to the title Mr., Miss or Mrs. after obtaining the postgraduate qualification MRCS. Other doctors, on the other hand, retain the title doctor after obtaining other postgraduate qualifications, such as MRCP. Topic: <laughs> Nautical and Aeronautical. Captain, a person who commands and is responsible for the lives of crew and passengers on a naval or civil vessel or aircraft. In the U.S. military, captain is used regardless of the actual rank of the person being addressed. For example, on a U.S. naval vessel commanded by someone holding a rank of lieutenant commander or lower is addressed as captain, in reference to his position in command of the ship, not his military rank. This would apply even to an enlisted man in charge of a small boat. Topic. Religious. His Holiness, abbreviation HH, oral address Your Holiness, or Holy Father, the Pope and the Pope Emeritus. His All Holiness, abbreviation HA, oral address Your All Holiness, the Ecumenical Patriarch of Constantinople. His Holiness, abbreviation HH, oral address Your Holiness, the Syriac Orthodox Patriarch of Antioch and all the East, Patriarch of Moscow and all Russia, Patriarch of Peck and the Serbs, Catholicos of all Armenians, Catholicos Patriarch of all Georgia, Catholicos of the Holy See of Cilicia of the Armenian Apostolic Church, Malankara Orthodox Catholicos and some other Patriarchs of the Christian Church. His Holiness, abbreviation HH, oral address Your Holiness, the Dalai Lama, the Panchen Lama, the Karmapa, the Sakya Trizin, and other holders of certain other Tibetan Buddhist lineages. His Highness the Aga Khan, abbreviation HH the Aga Khan, oral address Your Highness and then Sir, the Imam spiritual leader of the Shia Ismaili Muslims. His Beatitude or the Most Blessed, Oral Address Your Beatitude, Eastern Orthodox, Syriac Orthodox Catholicos of India, Oriental Orthodox and Roman Catholic Patriarchs, Macedonian Orthodox Church and the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Major Archbishop of Kiev Halic. If they have been elevated to the Cardinalate by the Pope, they use the traditional, His Eminence, like other Cardinals, more properly and formally, His Beatitude and Eminence. His Most Eminent Highness abbreviation HMEH, Oral Address Your Most Eminent Highness, the Prince and Grand Master of the Sovereign Military Order of Malta. His Eminence abbreviation HM, Oral Address Your Eminence or Most Reverend Eminence, Roman Catholic Cardinals. His Eminence abbreviation HM, or the Most Reverend abbreviation the Most Rev, Oral Address Your Eminence, Eastern Orthodox Metropolitans and Archbishops who are not the first hierarch of an autocephalous church. His Eminence abbreviation HM, certain high lamas or rinpoches in Tibetan Buddhism as well as presiding head bishops or priests of Japanese Buddhist schools. His Eminence abbreviation HM. The Sultan of Sokoto, spiritual leader of Nigeria's Muslims, as well as those of his fellow Fula high chiefs that choose not to style themselves as HRHs. His Excellency or the Most Reverend, abbreviation the Most Rev, oral address Your Excellency, Roman Catholic Archbishops and Bishops in the USA, or His Grace or the Most Reverend, abbreviation the Most Rev, oral address Your Grace, Roman Catholic Archbishops in Commonwealth countries, and Roman Catholic Bishops in Ireland, Mar Thoma Metropolitans. His Grace or the Right Reverend, abbreviation the RT, Rev, oral address Your Grace, Eastern Orthodox Bishops. Kabiasi, variously translated as His or Her Royal Majesty, His or Her Royal Highness or His or Her Highness, lit. The one whose words are beyond question, the Obas of Yorubaland, other Aboriginal Yoruba high chiefs of royal background, and their counterparts in the tribe's diaspora communities. His Lordship or the Right Reverend, abbreviation the RT Rev, oral address My Lord, Anglican and Roman Catholic bishops in Commonwealth countries. 
The Most Reverend and Right Honourable abbreviation the Most Rev. and Right Honourable, Oral Address Your Grace, Church of England Anglican Archbishops who are Privy Councillors, usually the Archbishops of Canterbury and York The Most Reverend abbreviation the Most Rev. Oral Address Your Grace, Anglican Archbishops, Primates, Metropolitans and Presiding Bishops. Also Moderators. The Most Reverend abbreviation the Most Rev. Oral Address My Lord, Church of Ireland Anglican Bishop of Meath and Kildare due to being, historically, the most senior bishop in Ireland the Most Reverend abbreviation the Most Rev. Oral Address Presiding Bishop, the Presiding Bishop of the Methodist Church Ghana the Most Reverend abbreviation the Most Rev. Oral Address Bishop, the Presiding Bishop of the Episcopal Church United States the Right Reverend and Right Honourable Monsignor abbreviation the RT Rev. and Right Honourable. MGR, Oral Address Monsignor, or according to personal preference, Prelate of Honor who is also a Privy Councillor the Right Reverend and Right Honorable Monsignor Graham Leonard KCVO. The Right Reverend and Right Honorable abbreviation the RT Rev. and Right Honorable, Oral Address Bishop or My Lord Old Fashioned Church of England Anglican Bishops who are members of the Privy Council, usually the Bishop of London. The Right Reverend abbreviation the RT Rev. Oral Address Bishop or My Lord Old Fashioned Other Church of England Bishops The Right Reverend abbreviation the RT Rev. Oral Address Bishop Bishops Episcopal Church United States The Right Reverend abbreviation the RT Rev. Moderator of the United Church of Canada The Right Reverend Father abbreviation the RT Rev. FR Oral Address Father Eastern Orthodox Archimandrites The Right Reverend abbreviation the RT Rev. Oral Address Father or Father Abbot, Roman Catholic Abbots. The Right Reverend abbreviation the RT Rev. Oral Address Bishop, Diocesan Bishop of the Methodist Church Ghana Bishop, Oral Address Bishop, an area bishop in the United Methodist Church. The Right Reverend has never been pervasive in the United Methodist Church. The Very Reverend abbreviation the Very Rev. Oral Address Father, Catholic Vicars General, Judicial Vicars, Judges, Rectors of Seminaries, Vicars Foreign, Episcopal Vicars, General Superiors of Religious Orders of Priests, Provincial Superiors, Priors of Monasteries or Friaries The Very Reverend Father abbreviation the Very Rev. FR, Oral Address Father, Eastern Orthodox Archpriests The Very Reverend abbreviation The Very Rev, Oral Address Mr., Madam Dean or Mr., Madam Provost, as appropriate, or Very Reverend Sir, Madam, Anglican Deans and Provosts of Cathedrals, the Deans of Westminster Abbey and St. George's Chapel, Windsor, and, for historical reasons, a few parish priests, such as the Dean of Bocking. Sometimes an Anglican cathedral dean has previously been a bishop, in which case he or she is styled as a bishop, but on formal occasions may be addressed Mr., Madam Dean. The Very Reverend abbreviation The Very Rev. Oral Address Very Reverend Sir, Madam or Mr., Madam Dean, Deans of some Anglican seminaries, especially those in the USA The Very Reverend abbreviation The Very Rev. Oral Address Osofo Panin, Superintendent Minister in the Methodist Church Ghana The Very Reverend abbreviation The Very Rev. Oral Address Reverend, Former Moderators of the United Church of Canada The Reverend Monsignor abbreviation The Rev. Monsignor, Oral Address Monsignor, Catholic Church Protonotaries Apostolic, Honorary Prelates, Chaplains of His Holiness the Venerable, Oral Address Venerable Sir, Madam or Mr., Madam Archdeacon, Anglican Archdeacons Venerable abbreviation Ven, Oral Address Venerable or Venerable, Fully Ordained Buddhist Monks and Nuns, the title of Venerable Master or Most Venerable is sometimes appended for senior monks and nuns or monks, nuns acting in their capacity as an abbot, abbess of a monastery the Reverend and Right Honorable abbreviation the REVD and Right Honorable. Protestant ordained ministers who are members of the Privy Council e.g. the late Ian Paisley. The Reverend the Honorable abbreviation the Rev, the Hun, oral address according to ecclesiastical or other status, ordained son of an earl, viscount, or baron, or ordained daughter of a viscount or baron unless also a Privy Councillor or peer. The Very Reverend abbreviation the Very Rev, oral address, overseer. In the Anglican Apostolic Communion Pentecostal tradition, the overseer is the lowest level of prelate only non-consecrated bishop prelate, with oversight to a specific work or department, directly responsible to the primate, presiding bishop or a bishop ordinary, diocesan. 
The Reverend abbreviation the Rev, or the REVD Protestant ordained ministers common variants include pastor, parson, vicar, or simply Reverend Rev, as used in American English, see, the Reverend. Some Jewish cantors also use this style, almost all Buddhist ministers in Japan use this style. The Reverend Canon abbreviation the Rev. Canon, oral address Canon, Catholic and Anglican Canons. The Reverend Doctor abbreviation the Rev. Doctor, oral address Father or Doctor, Priests and other ordained clergy with a doctorate The Reverend Father abbreviation the Rev. Fr, oral address Father, Catholic and many Anglican Priests The Reverend Mother abbreviation the Rev. Mo, or Mthr, oral address Mother, Abbesses also, some female Anglican Priests The Reverend Deacon abbreviation Rev. Deacon, oral address Deacon Catholic Permanent Deacons the Reverend Mr. Abbreviation the Rev. Mr. Oral Address Deacon, Catholic Transitional Deacons, i.e. those preparing for priesthood. Transitional deacons belonging to religious orders monastic and non-monastic are titled Reverend Brother. Similar situations and modifications apply to Anglican deacons as in the Rev. Fr. Mthr. Above, since women can be deacons, these may be the Revd Ms. Mother, oral address mother, heads of some female Catholic religious convents and other communities who are not abbesses Mr. abbreviation Mr., oral address Mr., Catholic Sulpician priests Mr. abbreviation Mr., oral address often Mr., Catholic seminarians and scholastics members preparing for priesthood of some religious orders notably, Jesuits Brother abbreviation bro, oral address brother, Catholic members of religious orders under vows both monastic and non-monastic who are not priests Sister abbreviation senior, oral address sister, Catholic members of religious orders under vows both monastic and non-monastic who are not abbesses Elder, elder used generally for male missionaries of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints LDS Church and for members of the adult leadership known as the General Authorities. Although most all male adults of the LDS Church are elders, the title is reserved for the prior mentioned groups. Grand Rabbi, Oral Address Rabbi, Hasidic Rabbis, who are scions of a Hasidic dynasty. Don Spanish, Don, Italian, Dien, Portuguese, Dom do, from Latin Dominus, roughly, Lord, is an honorific title used in Spain, Portugal, Italy, Ibero-America and the Philippines. The female equivalent is Doña Spanish, Doa, Donna Italian, Dnna, and Dona Portuguese, Don, abbreviated D, or simply D. Quote. Although originally a title reserved for royalty, select nobles, and church hierarchs, it is now often used as a mark of esteem for a person of personal, social or official distinction, such as a community leader of long standing, a person of significant wealth, or a noble, but may also be used ironically. As a style, rather than a title or rank, it is used with, and not instead of, a person's name. Dom is an honorific prefixed to the given name. It derives from the Latin dominus. It is used in English for certain Benedictine including some communities which follow the rule of Saint Benedict and Carthusian monks, and for members of certain communities of canons regular. Examples include Benedictine monks of the English Benedictine Congregation e.g. Dom John Chapman, late abbot of Downside. The equivalent female usage for such a cleric is Dame, e.g. Dame Laurentia McLaughlin, late abbess of Stanbrook, or Dame Felicitas Corrigan, author. Dom has historically been used on occasions in French, as an honorific for Benedictine monks, such as the famous Dom Perignon. Rabbi, oral address rabbi or, if holder of the appropriate degree, doctor both in oral and written communication rabbis, Grand Ayatollah, oral address Ayatollah or Ayatollah al-Uzma, Shia Ayatollahs, who have accomplished the highest religious jurisprudent knowledge degree called as Marja and some people officially follow them. Ayatollah, oral address Ayatollah, Shia religious degree who has accomplished a religious high course of lessons and is capable of individually issuing religious verdicts. Amir al muminin Arabic, Amir al muminin usually translated commander of the faithful or leader of the faithful, is the Arabic style of some caliphs and other independent sovereign Muslim rulers that claim legitimacy from a community of Muslims. It has been claimed as the title of rulers in Muslim countries and empires and is still used for some Muslim leaders. 
The use of the title does not necessarily signify a claim to caliphate as it is usually taken to be, but described a certain form of activist leadership which may have been attached to a caliph but also could signify a level of authority beneath that. The Ottoman sultans, in particular, made scant use of it. Moreover, the term was used by men who made no claim to be caliphs. Currently used by the Caliph of Isis Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, the Ahmadiyya Muslim Caliph, Mirza Masroor Ahmad, the King of Morocco, the Sultan of Sokoto, the supreme leaders of the Afghan Taliban. Cantor, oral address Cantor Some cantors use the reverend as style, as above Jewish cantors Reverend, oral address Reverend, Mr. or Brother, ordained ministers, pastors Pastor abbreviation, PR, oral address Pastor Minister responsible for caring for the flock in Lutheran churches. Pandit, sometimes spelled pundit, Hindu priests. Swami, in Hinduism, an ascetic or yogi who has been initiated into a religious monastic order. Informally, Swamiji. Officers of the Salvation Army are addressed by their rank, e.g., Captain, Capt, Major, Maj, etc. In some but not all Wiccan or pagan groups, the high priest or priestess receives the title of lord or lady followed by either their birth name or their magical name, an example would be Lady Jenny, or Lady Morningstar but only in official or formal standings. During written communications, it's not uncommon for a high priest or priestess to sign their birth name followed by their formal religious title and name. When writing to a high priest or priestess in a formal manner it is acceptable, but not required, to address the title holder as Lord or Lady, such as, Dear Lady Autumn Rose. In a familiar setting birth name or Mr., Mrs., or other honorable title can be used. In different countries Commonwealth realms Commonwealth Prime Ministers are usually addressed just as Prime Minister, but the form of address Mr., Madam Prime Minister is also often used in certain countries. Mr., Madam Prime Minister remains a common form of address in international diplomacy. Prime Minister alone remains more common within domestic politics. Topic. Legislative bodies The Right Honourable Member for British and some Commonwealth countries MPs who are Privy Councillors, some Commonwealth Realm Prime Ministers The Honourable Member for In the United Kingdom, Members of Parliament who are not Privy Councillors when being referred to in the Chamber of the House of Commons Outside the House of Commons members who are not entitled to another style or title are styled as, for example, John Smith, ESQ, MP, or Mr John Smith, MP. In Australia, members of the Federal Executive Council In Canada, members of the Parliament of Canada who are not ministers or secretaries. Senator In some Commonwealth countries whose upper house is called the Senate. Local government The Right Honourable, Lord Mayors of London, Cardiff, Belfast, York and Bristol England and Wales and Northern Ireland in the United Kingdom, Lord Provosts of Edinburgh and Glasgow Scotland in the United Kingdom, and Lord Mayors of all state capital cities of Australia The Right Worshipful, all other Lord Mayors and Mayors of Cities and the original Sink Ports United Kingdom, and Lord Mayors of Darwin, Newcastle and Wollongong and Mayor of Geelong in Australia. The Worshipful, all other Mayors or other Municipal Governors. His, Her Worship Oral Address Your Worship Municipal Leaders in Commonwealth Realms. Councillor, elected members of Municipal Councils. Australia His, Her Majesty, the King or Queen of Australia His, Her Excellency the Honourable, Governor-General and his or her spouse, and the Honourable or his, Her Excellency for the rest of state governors but not their spouse. The Honourable, all current and former Governors-General and Administrators of the Northern Territory, Justices of the High Court of Australia, the Federal Court of Australia, the Family Court of Australia and State Supreme Courts, 
The Honorable, all current and former members of the Federal Executive Council and all current members of State Executive Councils and certain former members of State Executive Councils and long-serving members of State Legislative Councils upper houses of state parliaments that have been given the right to keep the title by permission of the Governor of that state. The Right Honorable Viscounts his her honor oral address your honor magistrates and judges in appellate district and county courts the right honorable the lord mayor lord mayors of australian cities his her worship administrators of territories his her grace australian dukes his eminence australian cardinals his her lordship my lord my lady australians who are members of the nobility but not ducal or are otherwise entitled to be addressed in this manner for example the daughter of the earl of dunmore topic <laughs> canada his her majesty king queen of canada his her excellency governor general vice regal consort ambassadors and high commissioners in office the Right Honourable, Governors-General, Prime Ministers, Chief Justices of Canada and certain eminent Canadians for life His, Her Honour, Lieutenant Governors and Viceregal Consorts in Office The Honourable For life, members of the Queen's Privy Council for Canada, Senators and Lieutenant Governors in office only, Speaker of the House of Commons, Ministers of the Crown however federal ministers invariably enter the Privy Council upon their initial appointment, thus assuming the honorific for life, judges of provincial courts, premiers of provinces and territories, territorial commissioners, and provincial and territorial cabinet ministers. Note, members of Parliament are often referred to in the House of Commons as the Honourable Member for writing, but do not use the style Honourable with their name. The Honorable Mr., Madam Justice, Chief Justices of Province and Justices of Superior Courts His, Her Worship, Justices of the Peace, Magistrates and Municipal Leaders in Office <laughs> New Zealand Partial Source His, Her Majesty, King, Queen of New Zealand His, Her Excellency, the Current Governor-General and the Governor-General's Spouse the Right Honourable, the current and former Prime Ministers, the current and former Speakers of the Parliament of New Zealand, the current and former Chief Justices, the current and former Governor-General, and those who were appointed to the Privy Council prior to its abolition in 2003. The Honourable, the current and former Ministers of the Crown, the current and former Judges of the Supreme, High and Appeal Courts, His, Her Honour, Judges of District Courts, his, Her Worship, Mayors of Territorial Authorities and Justices of the Peace. <laughs> United Kingdom Sir, for men, formally if they have a British knighthood or if they are a baronet. Dame, for women who have been honoured with a British knighthood in their own right or are baronetesses and the official title of the wife of a knight or baronet. Women married to knighted individuals, but not knighted in their own right, are commonly referred to as lady. Lord, for male barons, viscounts, earls, and marquises, as well as some of their children. In some countries judges especially those of higher rank are referred to as lords, ladies or lordship, ladyship, style, your lordship, my lord or lord London. Lady, for female peers with the rank of baroness, viscountess, countess, and marchioness, or the wives of men who hold the equivalent titles, although by courtesy the title is often also used for wives of knights and baronets style, your ladyship, my lady or lady London. Most high, potent, and noble prince usually shortened to the most noble and his, her grace oral address your grace or duke, duchess, dukes. Occasionally the Archbishop of Canterbury, the Archbishop of York and other archbishops are also styled His Grace. Most High, Mighty, and Illustrious Prince, for Royal Dukes, Oral Address Your Royal Highness. Most Noble, Most Honorable and Potent Prince, the Most Honorable and Lordship abbreviation the Most Hun, Oral Address My Lord, Lady, Your Lordship, Ladyship or Lord, Lady London Marquises. The Right Honourable and Lordship abbreviation the Right Honourable, Oral Address My Lord, Lady, Your Lordship, Ladyship or Lord, Lady London Earl, Viscounts, Barons, Lords of Parliament and Members of the Privy Council The Right Honourable and Reverend, as the previous explanation, but if the holder is also an ordained clergyman obsolescent parliamentary usage. 
the right honourable and learned, as the previous explanation, but if the holder is also a barrister. The right honourable and gallant, as the previous explanation, but if the holder is also a serving military officer obsolescent parliamentary usage. The honourable abbreviation the Hun, younger sons of earls, all children of viscounts and barons, lords of parliament. The much honoured abbreviation the much Hun, oral address Edinburgh or Baron, Madam or Baroness or Lady Edinburgh Scottish lairds and feudal barons. The right honourable is added as a prefix to the name of various collective entities such as the Right Honourable the Lords Spiritual and Temporal of the United Kingdom, etc. in Parliament assembled the House of Lords the Right Honourable the Knights, Citizens and Burgesses of the House of Commons, Commons House in Parliament assembled the House of Commons archaic, now simply the Honourable the Commons of the United Kingdom, etc. the Right Honourable the Lords Commissioners of the Admiralty the former Board of Admiralty the Right Honourable the Lords of the Committee of the Privy Council appointed for the consideration of all matters relating to trade and foreign plantations the Board of Trade The Much Honourable the Lords of Her Majesty's Most Honourable Privy Council the Privy Council Queen's Council QC for respected judges and barristers King's Council KC during the reign of a king his, her worship is an honorific prefix for mayors, justices of the peace and magistrates in present or former Commonwealth realms. In spoken address, these officials are addressed as your worship or referred to as his or her worship. In Australia all states now use your honour as the form of address for magistrates the same as has always been used for judges in higher courts. <laughs> Jamaica. The most honourable, in Jamaica, Governors General of Jamaica, as well as their spouses, are entitled to be styled, the most honourable, upon receipt of the Jamaican Order of the Nation. Prime Ministers of Jamaica, and their spouses, are also styled this way upon receipt of the Order of the Nation, which is only given to Jamaican Governors General and Prime Ministers. <laughs> India. His Excellency, Her Excellency it is used before the name of President of India as well as before of Governors of the States. However, it is not mandatory for an Indian citizen to use this style to address President and Governors after a notification from the President House. But it is mandatory for foreigners to address the President and Governors. Your Honour, My Lord, it is used before the names of judges but now it is also not mandatory. Supreme Court in a hearing said that people need to respect the judges and Sir, is sufficient for it. Topic: <inaudible> Styles existing through marriage. Topic: <inaudible> Royal styles. Styles can be acquired through marriage, although traditionally this applies more to wives of office holders than to husbands. Thus, in the United Kingdom, Anne, Princess Royal, is styled Her Royal Highness HRH. Her husband, Sir Timothy Lawrence, bears no courtesy style by virtue of being her husband although his mother-in-law, Queen Elizabeth II, has since knighted him, nor do her children bear any title or style, by right or tradition, despite being in the line of succession to the Crown, until 2015 subject to the Royal Marriages Act. In contrast, when Sophie Rhys Jones married Prince Edward, she became HRH the Countess of Wessex and C, and their children are entitled although they do not use them to the princely prefix and the style of HRH, and do bear courtesy titles derived from their father. Styles and titles can terminate when a marriage is dissolved. Diana, Princess of Wales held the style Her Royal Highness during her marriage to HRH the Prince of Wales and the title Princess of Wales. When the couple divorced she lost her style, she became instead Diana, Princess of Wales, properly a name rather than a title although she fit the criteria which customarily accords the prefix of lady to the daughter of an earl, and she had been known as such prior to marriage, she did not revert to that title following divorce. When applied to the current Princess of Wales, inclusion of a definite article the Princess of Wales, is, like HRH, part of the style which accompanies the title. When Charles was remarried to Camilla Parker Bowles in compliance with the Royal Marriages Act, she lawfully became HRH the Princess of Wales but, as was the announced intention prior to the couple's wedding, she continues to use the lesser title derived from her husband's Duchy of Cornwall and is known as HRH the Duchess of Cornwall. 
From the divorce until her death in 1997, Diana ceased to hold any royal style, although the monarch declared that on occasions when members of the royal family appeared in public, she continued to be accorded royal precedence. When the former Sarah Ferguson was divorced from her husband, HRH Prince Andrew, Duke of York, she too lost her HRH style, rank as a royal duchess and as a peeress, and is known by the appellation Sarah, Duchess of York. In 1936, Wallace Simpson was denied the HRH style by George VI when she married his older brother, the former Edward VIII, who became HRH the Duke of Windsor following his abdication and receipt of a peerage. Examples of non-royal styles Lady Edward Smith, wife of the son Edward Smith of a duke or marquis Lady Elizabeth Smith, daughter of a duke, marquis or an earl Lady Smith, wife of Baron Smith could also be referred to as Baroness Smith Lady Smith, wife of Sir Edward Smith, or unmarried widow, divorced wife of Sir Edward Smith Dowager Lady Smith, deceased Baron's widow Elizabeth, Lady Smith, deceased Baron's ex-wife The Viscountess Smith, wife of Viscount Smith The Dowager Lady Smith, Viscount's widow Topic. Hong Kong The chief executive is styled as the Honorable. Certain senior government officials such as the Chief Secretary for Administration, President of the Legislative Council, members of the Executive Council, and members of the Judiciary such as the Chief Justice of the Court of Final Appeal are also styled as the Honorable. Topic. Ireland. In Ireland, holders of offices with Irish names are usually addressed in English by its nominative form so, Taisha, and Tanaist, though the Irish vocative forms differ a thawisai and a thanaiste. The president may be styled his, her excellency Irish, a shoyles, IPA, H, a soils, S, and addressed your excellency Irish, a shoyles, or simply president Irish, a uishtarain, ux, a n, the titles minister and senator are used as forms of address, only the latter as a style. A TD is formally addressed and styled as deputy, though often simply Mr., Mrs., etc. Similarly, county and city councillors can be addressed as councillor, abbreviated CLLR, which is used as a written style, but are just as frequently addressed as Mr., Mrs., etc. Brunei Known as Terasul in the Malay language Kabawa Duli Yang Maha Mulia Kabawa Dymm, equivalent to his or Her Majesty hum for Sultan and his first royal consort. The style is added more depends on the situation Kabawa Duli Yang Maha Mulia Paduka Seri Sultan, for Sultan before coronation Kabawa Duli Yang Maha Mulia Paduka Seri Baginda Sultan, for Sultan after coronation. Kabawa Duli Yang Maha Mulia Paduka Seri Penjiran Isteri for the Queen Consort before coronation. Kabawa Duli Yang Maha Mulia Paduka Seri Baginda Raja Isteri for the Queen Consort after coronation. Kabawa Duli Yang Maha Mulia Paduka Seri Raja for the second wife of the Sultan during coronation. Kabawa Duli, for a sultan that has not gone through puberty. Duli Yang Maha Mulia Paduka Seri Penjiran Isteri, for the second wife of the sultan after coronation. Duli Yang Teramat Mulia, DYTM, equivalent to his or her royal highness HRH for the crown prince and his consort and for the abdicated sultan and his consort. Duli Yang Teramat Mulia Paduka Seri Begawan Sultan, for sultan that abdicated from the throne. Duli Yang Teramat Mulia Paduka Suri Seri Begawan Raja for the Sultan's consort when the Sultan abdicated from the throne. Duli Yang Teramat Mulia Paduka Seri Penjiran Muda Makota for the Crown Prince. Duli Yang Teramat Mulia Paduka Seri Penjiran Anak Isteri for the Crown Prince's consort. Yang Teramat Mulia YTM, to his or her Royal Highness HRH for the children of the Sultan that were born by their royal mother both parents of the royal mother or royalties and not a commoner. Yang Teramat Mulia Paduka Seri Duli Penjiran Muda, for the Sultan's son that has full royal blood. 
Yang Teramat Mulia Paduka Seri Penjiran Anak Puteri for the Sultan's daughter by a royal mother. Non -commoner. Yang Teramat Mulia Penjiran Babu Raja for the Queen Consort's mother. Yang Amat Mulia Yam, for the consort of a royal prince and their children, and for the Sultan's children by their commoner mother. Yang Amat Mulia Penjiran Anak Isteri for the consort of the Sultan's son. Full royal blood. Yang Amat Mulia Penjiran Muda for the son full royal blood of the sultan's son full royal blood yang amat mulia penjiran anak for the children of the sultan that were born by a commoner mother daughter full royal blood of the sultan's son full royal blood children full royal blood of the sultan's daughter full royal blood children full royal blood of the sultan's children half royal blood yang mulia ym yang mulia penjiran anak for the children that both parents hold the title penjiran anak Yang Mulia Penjiran for the children of a Penjiran Anak and his wife that is not also a Penjiran Anak, non royal Penjiran. A commoner Penjiran. <laughs> Malaysia Kabawa Duli Yang Maha Mulia Seri Paduka Baginda, equivalent to his or her majesty for the king and the queen. Duli Yang Maha Mulia DYMM, equivalent to his or her majesty, for the Sultan and the Queen of Johor Kabawa Duli Yang Maha Mulia KDYMM, equivalent to his or her royal highness, for The Sultan and the Sultana of Kedah The Sultan of Pahang The Sultan and Sultana of Terengganu The Sultan of Kelantan The Regent of Pahang Duli Yang Maha Mulia DYMM, equivalent to his or her royal highness, for the Yang di Pertuan Besar and the Tunku Ampuan Besar of Negri Sembilan, the Raja and the Raja Perempuan of Perlis, the Sultan and the Tengku Permajuri of Selangor, the Raja Permajuri of Perak, the Sultana of Pahang, the Raja Perempuan of Kelantan, the Regent of Perak, the abdicated Sultan of Kelantan, Duli Yang Maha Mulia Paduka Seri, equivalent to his for the Sultan of Perak Yang Maha Mulia YMM, equivalent to his or her Royal Highness, for The Region of Kelantan All Widowed Consorts The Abdicated Queen of Kelantan Kabawa Duli Yang Teramat Mulia KDYTM, equivalent to his or her Highness, for the Crown Prince of Pahang and the Region of Terengganu and their consorts. Duli Yang Teramat Mulia DYTM, equivalent to his or her highness, for all crown princes, Perak and their consorts excluding Pahang, Terengganu and Johor. Yang Teramat Mulia YTM, equivalent to his or her highness, for senior royal family members and royal representatives in Negri Sembilan. Duli Yang Amat Mulia Diem, equivalent to his or her highness, for the crown prince of Johor, the Raja D. Hiller of Perak, the Raja Puan Muda of Perak Yang Amat Mulia Yam, equivalent to his or her highness, for royal family members. Yang Mulia YM, equivalent to his or her highness, for extended royal family members. Tuan Yang Tarutama TYT, equivalent to his or her excellency, for governors, high commissioners and ambassadors. Yang Amat Berhormat Mulia YABM, YAB, equivalent to the Right Honorable, for the Prime Minister, the Deputy Prime Minister and the Chief Minister. Yang Berhormat Mulia YBM per Yata Bite, equivalent to the Honorable, for Ministers, Deputy Ministers, Members of Parliament and State Legislatures. Yang Amat Arif YAA, equivalent to the Right Honorable, for Chief Judges. Yang Arif YA, equivalent to his or her honor, for Judges and Judicial Commissioners. Yang Amat Dihormati Yad, equivalent to the Right Honorable, for royal representatives in districts of Selangor. Yang Dihormati YDH, equivalent to the Honorable, for high and senior police officers. Yang Amat Burbaijia YABHG, for spouses of the Prime Minister, the Deputy Prime Minister, Chief Ministers and persons with the title of Tun. Yang Burbaijia YBHG, for persons with the title of Tan Shri and Datuk, or equivalent, and their spouses. Yang Amat Barusaha YABRs, for higher public officers without any title. Yang Barusaha YBRs, for high public officers without any title. 
Yang Amat Sesha Yas for high military officers without any title. Yang Sesha Yas for senior military officers without any title. Sahiba Samaha SS, equivalent to His Eminence, for state muftis. Sahibul Fadhila SF, equivalent to His Grace, for state deputy muftis, qadis and senior ulamas. Sahiba Sada, equivalent to Yang Burbaijia, for the Director of Islamic Affairs of Selangor. Morocco His Majesty, the King of Morocco. His Imperial Majesty, the Sultan of Morocco before 1957, now obsolete. His, Her Royal Highness, Prince and Princess of Morocco used for children, grandchildren and siblings of the King as well as for the Princess Consort. His, Her Highness, Prince and Princess of Morocco used for cousins, uncles and aunts of the King. Topic: Philippines. His, Her Excellency, the President of the Philippines. The title in Tagalog is Ang Mahal na Pangulo, the Beloved President. The honorific for the President of the Philippines adopted from the title of the Governor General of the Philippines during Spanish and American colonial periods. The President may be addressed as Your Excellency, or more informally as Mr. President, or Madam President The Honorable, the Vice President of the Philippines, members of the Congress of the Philippines, Justices of the Supreme Court of the Philippines, Governors and Vice-Governors of Provinces, Mayors and Vice-Mayors of Cities or Municipalities, and other elected officials in the government. The title is also conferred to elected and appointed officials of student or other people's organizations that has great participation in creating, implementing, and interpreting policies of the organization. The title in Tagalog is Ang Kagalangalang, the Honorable. In senatorial and congressional inquiries and impeachment procedures, senators and representatives are addressed your honor, because their functions have the powers of judges in asking questions. Sir, Madam, common informal manner of address. Illustrious Knight, Sir, Lady Titles for members of the Order of the Knights of Rizal, the Philippines' only order of knighthood created by law. In the Sultanate of Sulu, the Sultan is addressed as Paduka Mahasari Maulana al-Sultan. Spain His, Her Majesty, the Monarch of Spain, when referred to as Monarch. When referred to as Head of State, he is usually styled His Excellency the Head of State. His, Her Royal Highness, the Prince of Asturias and the Infantes non-heir apparent royal princes. His, Her Excellency Su Excellencia spouses and children of the Infantes, grandees of Spain, ministers, either from the central government, ministros, or from autonomous government, consejeros, as well as regional presidents, mayors and town councils. His, Her Illustriousness Su Illustrisima Marquises, Counts, Viscounts, Junior Ministers either from the central government, Secretarios de Estado, or from autonomous government, Vice Consejeros, members of the Royal Academies and the holders of certain Spanish decorations. His, Her Most Excellent and Magnificent Lord, Rector of a University. His Lordship, Her Ladyship Su Senoria Barons, Seigneurs, Members of Parliament, Judges. Topic. Thailand His, Her Majesty, the King and Queen of Thailand. His, Her Royal Highness, Prince and Princess of Thailand used for children and grandchildren of the King from Chow F.A. See Fa the most senior rank of Prince, Princess to Phra Chow Wurwangs Thare Phra Ong Chow. Frey C. W. Ruang S. Thex Frey Ung C. A mid-level, lesser class of prince and princess than Chow F. A. This style is also used for princess consort now obsolete. His, Her Highness, Prince and Princess of Thailand of the rank. Phra Wurwang Wang Thare Phra Ong Chow. Frey W. Ruang S. Thex Frey Ung C. Which are born in the title as Mom Chow to whom the king later granted this higher title, either as recognition of merit, or as a special favor. 
His, Her Serene Highness, Prince and Princess of Title Mom Chow M, Mom Chow Ying F, Hex MC Hex MC Haiying abbreviated in Thai as M, C or in English as MC is the most junior class still considered royalty. This is normally when surnames first appear among royal lineages. They are either, children of a male Chow Fa and a commoner, children of a male Phra Ong Chow. Informally, they are styled, then Chai, M, then Ying. F. Then Shay the Knight. The Honorable, Mom Rajawangs, Hexem Ratchwings RTGS, Mom Ratchawang, abbreviated in Thai as M, R W or in English as M R and also translated into English as the Honorable is the title assumed by children of male Mom Chow. The title is pronounced Mom Rashawang. Informally, they may be styled as Kun Chai M Kuniang F. Kunche Kunhain. Topic: United States. Most current and former elected federal and state officials and judges in the U.S. are styled the Honorable full name. In writing, e.g., the Honorable Mike Rawlings, Mayor of the City of Dallas. Many are addressed in conversation as Mr. Title or Madam Title. Mr. President, Madam Mayor, or simply by title plus name, e.g., Senator Jones or Commissioner Smith. Continued use of a title after leaving office depends on the office, those of which there is only one at a time, e.g., President, Speaker, Governor, or Mayor, are only officially used by the current office holder. However, titles for offices of which there are many concurrent office holders e.g., ambassador, senator, judge, professor or military ranks, especially colonel and above are retained for life. A retired U.S. Army general is addressed as general name officially and socially for the rest of their life. Military retirees are entitled to receive pay and are still counted as members of the United States Armed Forces. Accordingly, all retired military ranks are retained for life pursuant to Title X of the United States Code. In the case of the U.S. President, while the title is officially dropped after leaving office, e.g., Dwight Eisenhower reverted to his prior style, General Eisenhower. In retirement, it is still widely used as an informal practice, e.g., Jimmy Carter is still often called President Carter. Similarly, governors may be addressed in later life as Governor name particularly if running for further political office. Mitt Romney, for example, was frequently referred to as Governor Romney. During his 2012 presidential campaign, he was addressed as such formally in the debates, despite leaving the office of Governor of Massachusetts in 2007. Judges are styled the Honorable full name in writing, and orally in court as Your Honor, or as Judge Smith. Chief Justices of Supreme Courts are addressed orally as Mr. or Madam Chief Justice or Chief Justice. Associate Justices as Justice Jones or Justice. Mayors are styled the Honorable full name in writing. In municipalities e.g., New York City and Chicago, mayors are addressed in conversation as Your Honor. This may be a vestige of the fact that the mayors and some others were also magistrates of the court system. His, Her Excellency, oral address Excellency, Your Excellency, was once customarily used of governors of states, though this has given way to the Honorable, the form used to address all elected officials in the United States. His, Her Excellency, has continued in the Commonwealths of Massachusetts and Virginia and the states of South Carolina, Georgia, New Hampshire, and Connecticut. Members of the House of Representatives are similarly styled in writing as the Honorable full name. Orally they are traditionally addressed as Mr. Per Mega Second name, but as a practice are sometimes addressed as Representative name or Congressman, Congresswoman name when it is necessary or desirable to specify the member's status. It is advisable to follow the preference of the individual official. Following precedents in Westminster style of Parliament, when writing their own names, especially on stationery and franks, representatives have upon occasion followed their names with M.C. Member of Congress. Senators similarly are addressed in writing as the Honorable full name and orally as Senator Smith, where representatives may have used 
MC senators have used USS United States Senator. However, neither form is currently used by members in Washington, D.C. On the actual floor of the houses during debate, members commonly refer to one another as the gentleman, gentlewoman, from such and such a state. As my friend, the distinguished gentleman from Ohio, just said. Or, I yield three minutes to the gentleman from New York, Mr. Smith. In debate, senators sometimes refer to colleagues as the junior or senior senator from a state, as in, I disagree with my dear friend, the junior senator from Ohio. Senators also commonly use, my friend from X, and the distinguished senator from X. While the term, Esquire, abbreviated, ESQ, after the name John Jones, ESQ, has no legal meaning in the U.S. and may be used by anyone or at least, customarily, by any male, it is correctly used when addressing lawyers in correspondence as an indication of their profession. At least one American jurisdiction, the District of Columbia, limits the use of Esquire and similar terms to licensed attorneys. Although some authorities previously urged that use of ESQ should be restricted to male lawyers, today the term is used for both male and female attorneys. The academic post nominal JD Juris Doctor may be used by graduates of law schools who are not members of the bar of any state or who are working outside the legal profession. In academic fields, it is customary in the U.S. to refer to those holding any level of professorship professor, assistant professor, associate professor, adjunct professor, etc. as professor, as in Professor Jones, orally or in writing. In writing, Professor is often abbreviated as Professor, as in Professor Jones. Those holding academic doctorates are frequently referred to as Dr. Jones. Military personnel of any functionality doctors, lawyers, engineers, cooks, fighter pilots, motor pool drivers, commanding officers, security guards, officers and enlisted. Leaders and followers are always addressed by rank plus name, with the exception of chaplains, who are addressed as chaplain, and are addressed in writing with their rank in parentheses, e.g., chaplain Major Jones. An exception to this is in the Navy, where in writing the rank is either not used, or is used before the person's name with the corps designator, CHC, indicating the officer is a chaplain put behind their name, e.g., L. T. George Burdell, CHC, USN. In the United States Navy, there is an internal practice aboard ships that junior officers who are not in command may be addressed by their rank or as Mr., Miss X, as in Lieutenant Junior Grade Smith or Miss Smith. This practice is also followed within the United States Coast Guard, both aboard ship and ashore. Junior officers in both services are understood to be those of lieutenant commander and below. Senior officers commander and above are addressed by their rank as in Commander Smith or Admiral Smith. While officially this manner of address is supposed to be from a senior rank to a junior rank, i.e. captain to lieutenant, in practice it is not unknown for enlisted personnel to refer to junior officers as Mr. as well. While commonly referred to by their rank, i.e. Seaman, Airman, Fireman, Petty Officer X or Senior, Master, Chief X, on formal occasions, e.g. weddings, an enlisted man's full title is sometimes used, starting with their rating, then their rank, and their name, e.g. Electronics Technician Second Class 10 or Chief Gunner's Mate Y when written, e.g. in formal invitations, the enlisted man's name is written as Serviceman's Name, USN, USMC, USA, USAF, USCG without one's rank preceding their name, unlike commissioned officers. Retired military personnel may continue to be addressed by their rank at the time of their retirement. Those who held brevet ranks higher than their permanent rank permanent army officers who held temporary rank in volunteer regiments during the American Civil War also held this honor, though all such individuals have now perished. This usage is often seen in historical or fictional sources placed in the 1865-1900 period. Topic. Former styles 
All former monarchies had styles, some, as in the Bourbon monarchy of France, extremely complicated depending on the status of the office or office holder. Otto von Habsburg, who was Crown Prince of Austria-Hungary (1916–1918), had the style His Imperial and Royal Highness. He was last addressed as such by church figures during the funeral of his late mother, Empress Queen Zita of Austria-Hungary, in 1989. Although the use of these styles has been prohibited in Austria since 1920, for the styles of address to government officials in Imperial Russia, see Table of Ranks. The names of some offices are also titles, which are retained by the office holder for life. For example, holders of titles of which there are many at the same time, such as ambassadors, senators, judges, and military officers who retire retain use of their hierarchical honorific for life. Holders of titles of which there is only one office holder at a time such as president, chief justice or speaker revert to their previous honorific when they leave office out of deference to the current office holder. Other parallel symbols Styles were often among the range of symbols that surrounded figures of high office. Everything from the manner of address to the behavior of a person on meeting that personage was surrounded by traditional symbols. Monarchs were to be bowed to by men and curtsied to by women. Senior clergy, particularly in the Roman Catholic Church, were to have their rings the symbol of their authority kissed by lay persons while they were on bended knee, while cardinals in an act of homage at the papal coronation were meant to kiss the feet of the supreme pontiff, the Pope. Many of these traditions have lapsed or been partially abandoned. At his inauguration as Pope in 1978, itself the abandonment of the traditional millennium-old papal coronation, Pope John Paul II himself kissed cardinals on the cheeks, rather than follow the traditional method of homage of having his feet kissed. Similarly, styles, though still used, are used less often. The former President of Ireland, Mary McAleese, was usually referred to as President Mary McAleese, not President McAleese, as had been the form used for the first six presidents, from President Hyde to President Hillary. Tony Blair asked initially to be called Tony. First names, or even nicknames, are often widely used among politicians in the U.S., even in formal situations as an extreme example, President James Earl. Jimmy. Carter chose to take the oath of office using his nickname. One notable exception involves judges, a judge of any court is almost invariably addressed as your honor, while presiding over his or her court, and often at other times as well. This style has been removed in the Republic of Ireland, where judges are addressed only as judge. However, styles are still widely used in formal documents and correspondence between heads of state, such as in a letter of credence accrediting an ambassador from one head of state to another. Self-styled The term self-styled, or soi dissent, roughly means awarding a style to oneself, often without adequate justification or authority, but the expression often refers to descriptions or titles such as ant, expert, doctor, or king, rather than true styles in the sense of this article. Topic. See also Forms of address in the United Kingdom List of titles Suffix name Title TV distinction Topic. Notes One though the Republic of Ireland does not possess a privy council, the style is still used. The Lord Mayor of Dublin is still styled the Right Honourable, as previous Lord Mayors of Dublin were ex officio members of the former Irish Privy Council until its abolition in 1922.